So as part of this, we are going to go and look at multiple assignments. The first one is to look at what are the commands available for kubectl. If you run a command and if it scrolls beyond a page, you could pipe it with less so that you're able to look at it using your up and down arrow key, which gives you a very flexible way to scroll through the page. Next, we will look at how to get more information about Kubernetes objects. In Kubernetes, we have a very powerful command called kubectl explain. If you do not know already about it, try kubectl explain hyphen hyphen help. Now we will go and check to get more information about pods. So here's the information about everything you got to know about pods, the kind, the version, and everything else that is required to create a pod manifest. If you do a kubectl pods dot spec, it will tell you more about what is it that you require under spec and what objects are allowed. You can scroll through and take a look at this. The next that we're going to look at is kubectl spec containers. So what options do we have under that? So let's go ahead and look at that. This is everything that you have under containers. If you got to know what do you do with images, so you could do kubectl containers image less. This is what you do with the image. Awesome. Let's go back to the next assignment. Can we assign a service account to a pod when creating the pod declaratively? Since we do not know it, we are going to run a help command and then pipe it and grab for service account. Minus A is to, uh, for after and minus B is for before. So whenever you find your text that you're searching for, it will return two lines above and two lines below. So two lines after and two lines before. So there is a service account. So that assignment is solved. Generate YAML using kubectl run. The newer version required dry run to have dry run equals to client. I'm running on an older version, so I don't need it. Let's look at the manifest. This is what the manifest is. You didn't have to write a single line of YAML and the YAML was created for you. That's a very good trick to create a YAML. Can we add command and arguments while creating pod? Let's go and see. Since we do not know about it, we're going to run the kubectl run help command again. And we do have something over there. So if you need to create a pod, the options are hyphen hyphen command if you want to pass a command with arguments. If not, it's just hyphen hyphen and all the arguments. Make sure this is the last command or the last option in the kubectl run command. You, know, you see over here the command slip with argument 100 has been created. If you want to just create arguments, just remove command from here, run it. And now when you open up your nginx.yaml file, you're going to see arguments. That's it. So the assignment has been solved. Let's move to the next one. Delete all the pods under current namespace. The command is kubectl delete hyphen hyphen all. Delete pod hyphen hyphen all. So if you want to change your namespace, it's kubectl config, set context, kubectl get pods show labels is to show the labels. If you want to add a label, you could do kubectl label pod, the pod name, and then key equals to value. In this case, key is name and value is Samir. If you want to get pods using the selector, you have hyphen hyphen selector. The short form is minus L. Showing IP address and nodes for a pod is pretty simple. If you know the command, it's kubectl get pod minus O wide. You get the IP addresses and 
תינות. Show only secrets that are that are of type opaque. So this is a command wherein you have to use field selector. So let's go and take a look at it. That one we've already done, so we're not going to look at it. That's with fill uh, selector and minus L, which we've looked earlier. So let's go and look at an example. I have already have a manifest file called nginx.yaml that has a problem. This is one of the assignment for you, which probably will come for your exam. So make sure you're very much aware about it. So when you go and create it, you do not get it right. Go look at the nginx.yaml and when you look at it first hand, you do not see any problem. But notice that 1200 requires quotes around it. Without quote, it's not going to run. Very important thing to know. Numbers have to be quoted. Since our assignment asked for value to be changed to 2000, we've changed it to 2000. Let's go ahead and see if the pod has been created with the right value. So kubectl get pod returns you all the pods and then kubectl get pods with the JSON path tells you that the pod has been created with command 2000. This is a nice option when you want to force a delete and not wait. So it creates period zero and hyphen hyphen force. If you want to get the deployments and the pod, this is another good option where you can do deployments comma pods. This is to create the deployment and change the replicas at the exact same time. You don't have to open the file to edit it. The last one is to create a secret in the sorted order. Sorry, display the secret in sorted order of the name. Over here, you can use sort by. Have a good day and thank you for watching.